Hey guys, it's been a long time since we've done a vlog style video. So, learning to code. Can you go to a boot camp and in three or six months land a job working at a FANG? A FANG is one of the big companies, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, or Netflix, you know. Is that realistic? Do you think that you can get out of a six month boot camp and then you'd be making six figures right out of the bat? You know, six figure job and uh, maybe lead developer or if only a six month or even a one year boot camp. You think that's realistic? If somebody has ever sold you that idea, it's not realistic. It's actually uh, very, very unlikely unless, unless there's some very specialized circumstances. It's very rare, very rare. I've seen people, never seen your job, that's for sure. I've seen occasional people get in there making six figure right off after school, but that's super rare. What you have to expect for the vast majority of us normies out there is that when you do a boot camp or you do six months or a year of training in code, your number one goal is to get that entry level job. You wanna get into the work place. You wanna get into the game, as they say. This shouldn't be a big surprise. Think about any profession out there. Do you think in any profession, they start off at the top of the game? I use uh, boxing or MMA. When you become an MMA fighter, do you think they go in there and they fight for the title right away? You think the first MMA fight somebody takes, they go in and they fight pro their first fight? No, they do a lot of sparring and then they do a lot of amateur fights and then, and then they get into the ring and they'll fight professionally. If you're super talented, maybe you'll get away with you know, five, 10 amateur fights and then you can jump into the game as a pro. But even if you, even when you do jump in as a pro, you're gonna start off at the bottom of the heap. You gotta work your way up. The way software development works is that once you get your fundamental skills, you gotta go out there and just build anything, anything within the specialization that you want to pursue. So what's the specialization? Specialization could be game development, could be web development, could be front end, back end. It could be mobile app development, whatever, whatever, the key principle you want to take away is once you kind of get a basic understanding of things, then you got to start building real things. One of the traps that I keep hearing about and I talk about all the time is you don't want to get into uh, tutorial hell where you are a PERMA student. You see that in universities where you get these people, they don't really know what they want to do, but they go to university because they hear only winners, losers don't go to university, which is not the case, by the way. That's, that's such BS. Anyhow, so they go to university and, they go, and they're not sure what they want to do. So they say, you know, I'm going to take this program here. And they take it for a year. Eh, I don't like that. And then they take this program here and this one here and then this one here and this one here. And they become permanent students. And one year, two year, three year, four year, five, pass. And they have no degree. They have no skills that are really marketable. And a lot of times, unfortunately, they have student loan debt, which is the evil, most worst debt you can possibly have. I always tell people, you're better to owe money to uh, a gangster than to, uh, to owe money to, uh, in student loan debt, because student loan debt is non-dischargeable through bankruptcy. Anyway, you don't want to be a PERMA student. And you don't want to be caught in tutorial hell if you're learning on your, on your own. You want to get into the game as quickly as possible. Why? The number one reason why is because that's where you're going to learn. When I used to teach people how to fight, um, and when I was training quite a bit, and I did it for two decades, more than two, almost three decades. Whew. Anyhow, what I would teach people is that uh, one full contact sparring session is worth six months of training on heavy bags and drills. So to make that equivalence in learning how to code, one built website or one built simple app is worth a hundred tutorials. The key to the game of becoming a professional developer is to get away from tutorials, to get away from courses as quickly as humanly possible. Now, listen, I sell courses and I have a mentoring program and I could appeal to all this, uh, the script kiddies out there and put out tons of tutorials on this and 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 this and, this and, this and keep selling tons of tutorials. But it's, 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 
it's, it's not useful. It's, it's actually counterproductive, in my opinion. You've got to get in the game. And like a professional fighter, the first person you fight is not going to be Mike Tyson. The first person you fight is not going to be uh, Conor McGregor. You know, you got to get in there and fight the pussycats, the tin cans, as you used to say. You got to go in there and fight. fight your first fight, anyway, has to be an opponent that you can handle. Same thing with coding. Your first coding project should be very simple. So I teach the web stack because I think the web stack, well, I know the web stack has the widest range of possibilities in terms of jobs and in terms of types of coding you can do. In the web stack, you can do front end only, you can do front end, back end, so you can go from building just a website for branding purposes, that's front end, basically. Or you could do full stack where you build a web app where you have web pages that connect to databases and it creates an application type of feel. Well, it's an application. You can build games and websites, although it's not too, not too uh, it's not often you see that. You can build mobile ready websites either through responsive web design techniques, which any decent course will teach, of course. Uh, or you can do PWA, which is using web tech. That's HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript to build uh, kind of a hybrid of a mobile app. In fact, a lot of companies, by the way, are going in that direction. They're, they're saying, well, we're going to go native mobile, or we're going to build a PWA, or we're going to build just a responsive site. A lot of companies say, you know, we're just going to do a PWA, or we're just going to do a responsive site. Anyway, so I teach the web stack. Uh, but I don't get bogged down in tons and tons and tons and tons of material because as a teacher, my job is to do two things. A is to simplify, and number two is to filter out all the stuff you don't need to know. That's where my experience as a professional developer going back to 1994 when I first started writing commercial code uh, comes in handy because that 28 years of experience it always surprises me when I hear how long I've been doing this stuff. Anyway, that 28 years of experience has taught me what you need to know to be able to get your foot in the door as a developer. And that is the key to it all, by the way. To end this video, the key to becoming a professional developer is to get your foot in the door. As a beginner, as a beginner, that requires a good understanding of fundamentals, having uh, done a few little projects, and good interpersonal skills, and also some skill in terms of getting a job, in terms of searching out jobs, understanding how to search out jobs, how to prep your resume, all this kind of stuff. This is super important. A lot of people think that they're gonna learn this, how to do the technical skills and then they're done. No, you gotta learn the technical skills, then you gotta learn the interpersonal skills. If you don't have, some people do already, but you gotta have that. Then you gotta understand how to uh, hunt for jobs. There's a process. You know, LinkedIn, uh, good resume building, being able to go in there and interview, prepping for your interview properly, what you do after the interview is done, whether you get the job or not, how do you respond, what do you do, how do you learn from that, how does this progress in your career. And there you go. So in my mentoring program, Shameless Self-Promotion, we give people the fundamentals, then they build their project website, then they go out and do two to three projects, real projects, so that they develop those real developer skills. Building real projects for real clients is worth a hundred tutorials, without a doubt. Because being a developer, yes, a big part of it is writing code, being a coder, but it's also being able to communicate with the client or your coworkers, be able to figure out problems, and then take technology to solve those problems. It's not so much of a cookie cutter situation. Tutorials, you're just following along. The old analogy I used to make is, it's kind of like, in the old days we used to have painting by numbers. So you would buy a painting and they would have all these numbers on every section of the painting. And, in, and it would tell you, oh, number section one, you paint with red, so I don't get red. And uh, section 36, you give it a purple, you put purple. At the end you got a painting that looks good, but you're not really painting, you're just, following a puzzle that's predefined for you. That's not painting. That's what tutorials are like. It's kind of like if you go back to my MMA uh, martial art analogy, it's like the difference between doing drills where you know you're going to go for left, you're going to throw left, right, uh, uppercut, to hook, and you throw that real fast 
And you can be really good with that on the pads or a heavy bag, but that has nothing to do with fighting. It's going to give you some decent body mechanic if you train it properly. It'll teach you, uh, get you a little bit better shape or some other advantages, but it's, it's nothing, it's not fighting at all. Fighting is totally different. Fighting is about timing, tactics, uh, mental, physical conditioning, um, Speed power, you get that from that. But timing and tactics are the two most important things. And you don't get timing and tactics from hitting the heavy bag or hitting the pads. Same thing with coding. Um, a big part of development has, can't, be, can't be learned. You can't get it from tutorials. You have to do the real thing. And that's why I do a mentoring group. Because I'm there to mentor when you're out there in the real world trying to build something and you re hit a little roadblock, you can talk to your mentor and I can help you smooth out the process, speed you there much more quickly. That's the real way people learn how to code. There's unlimited information out there in terms of tutorials. The key is, is understanding that big process, knowing how to apply it, avoiding the roadblocks. And that's... Uh, that is, makes all the difference between whether or not you get there or you don't. If you have any questions about anything discussed in this video, you can ask in the comments below. If you like this video, you know the deal. Give it a thumbs. We'll talk soon.